In this greenhouse up in the hills of Rogue River, you have a perfect connection between nature and science. This place is called the farming fish. What we're looking at here is a practice called aquaponics. What it is exactly is a marriage of uh, aquaculture, raising fish for food with hydroponics. When you break it down beyond the scientific terms, it really is just simply the circle of life. We feed our fish and uh, they're gaining weight for market. And then in return, these fish, um, they're producing nutrients, which goes through a series of plumbing to the hydroponic beds. These plants, they take up the nutrients and they become a marketable crop. But in turn, they're filtering the water with the help of some beneficial bacteria. The water goes all the way down to one end of the greenhouse, goes to the other side, and comes all the way back up to the fish clean. Going even a step further, any produce that's not market grade goes back to feeding the fish. Honestly, I've never heard a single complaint about our fish because of the, the great conditions that they're raised in. The texture of their fillets is a lot firmer than what you get from the grocery store. And those fish also help create some of the best produce, which they can grow all year long. Uh, right now we're growing three different types of lettuce. We have romaine, red leaf, and green leaf. Michael says this lettuce is true organic meaning not even organic chemicals or bug sprays are used. Instead, he relies on his bug army. That's a praying mantis egg. So what's going to happen with that is in the spring, when things get a little hotter, um, the praying mantis will hatch out. Right about that, that same time, there's going to be a, a bad caterpillar that's going to want to hatch out as well called a cabbage loper. And they're going to go around and eat the cabbage loper. Also on the helpful bug side, the great ladybug. Here we are, we're spreading ladybugs all over. Our happy little army here to uh, get <laughs> to the aphids. Not only is this whole process symbiotic, it's also easier on the farmer's body. Floating, lightweight rafts make harvest time a simple process. Plus, many of the backbreaking traditional steps of farming are taken care of by nature. We've been able to show that a small farm can do something with a small footprint that's extremely sustainable, saves a lot of space, and produces a huge abundance. And it's a formula like this that Michael says will help small farms survive in modern agriculture. In Rogue River, Joe Camerlinghi, NBC5 News.